KPRC2 investigates continues to shine a light on how business is done at Houston's airports. Two weeks ago, we exposed claims of sexual harassment and retaliation within airport administration. And as we previously uncovered huge increases in spending on a long delayed airport terminal project today, a big development on that front. Investigator Mario Diaz has learned a local congressman wants the feds to take a look at all of that spending. Mario is joining us now from the newsroom to let us know what all of this means here. Mario. Christine, this means that a local U.S. Re representative with congressional oversight of the aviation industry wants one of the costliest airport projects in the nation to open up the books for the FAA. I think there's some serious questions that we need to ask uh, the FAA. This was U.S. Representative Troy Nels to KPRC2 Investigates in August. Nels is now taking action expressing his serious concerns to the Federal Aviation Administration over the International Terminal Project at Bush Intercontinental Airport, also known as ITRIP. Nels, who sits on the House Subcommittee on Aviation, wrote to the head of the FAA last month with questions focused on a project that has taken over seven years to really just get off the ground. Nels also focusing on a budget that has ballooned to as high as $1.7 billion before settling at $1.2 billion in 2019. Do we need any extra money? Nope. We're good. Not so fast. Over the summer, KPRC2 Investigates identified airport director Mario Diaz needs more money after all. And the new budget is up yet again to $1.3 billion. I think that there is an ongoing concern about spending uh, related to this ITRIP project. After learning of Representative Nell's letter, Houston controller Chris Brown weighed in this afternoon. Brown's office has been critical of HAS director Mario Diaz's management of the project multiple times in city audits. Brown welcomes the feds coming in and taking a look at the books. We want to make sure also that um, the costs of this project continue to escalate. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we can contain that. The bottom line for Representative Nels, an audit is the only way to restore public faith in the project and verify that PFC money is being properly used. Now, PFC charges are the charges you pay every single time you fly out of the Houston airport system. Now, the city, in a statement, did reference Controller Brown's audit and says the project remains on budget since it was established in 2014. The city also says they meet with the FAA regularly and pledge to continue to cooperate with any requests made by the agency. Live in the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigate.